Welcome to a new Marqueco Monday. We have a pretty good topic today. Today we're going to be looking at just a small trick to just improve your lookalike audiences. Uh, this is something we do with most of our clients and it's something that we've seen that just improves uh, lookalike audiences. And so most people, what they'll, when they talk about lookalike audiences, what they'll say is, yes, you can do lookalike audiences based on percentages, so like from 1% up to 10%. Uh, it's obvious that the best ones, because they're going to have a better similarity to your core audiences or the, the, the audience that you're using to create that lookalike audiences, is, is the lesser percent, right? So this is going to be better than a larger percent. But we have another trick that we've seen that makes it even better, right? So you can use a custom audience, whether databases or people who visited your website or people who are actually customers, you build on a second step your lookalike audience and then you use that lookalike audience to do a core audience. So what we're doing is these three three steps that I'm going to show you today. One, you have the database, right? Two, you build your lookalike audience. And three, we're going to use that lookalike audience to find a smaller audience. So we're basically, what we're doing here is we're segmenting our lookalike audience so that we have a better one. So the first thing you have to know about uh, your lookalike audience is that you can build a lookalike audience from a custom audience. And this might be tricky, but basically you could do customer files and this could be uh, databases, for example. This could be users who've purchased from before. Uh, you can upload Excel files. This can be people that visited your website, people who've downloaded your, your app or interacted in, within your app, offline activities. So if you're a retailer, for example, you can integrate your sales, your CRM with Facebook or just basically engagement with your fan page, right? So these are the, and I'm not going to go into detail, but these are basically the five different ways I can build a custom audience. So you need to have a custom audience in order for you to be able to build a lookalike audience, right? So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to use this custom audience to build a lookalike audience. And then we're going to use the lookalike audience to further segment it and have a much better segmentation. So how do you do that? And it's pretty simple. And it's, it's three basic steps. So I already created a lookalike audience for today. And this lookalike audience is basically people who've seen at least 10 seconds of any Marqueco Monday for the past 360 days. We just launched this a month ago, but just for example purposes, what we did is we said, I want to look into Canada, right? And also USA. So find me people who have a 1% similarity. So if you look here, you have 1% similarity to people who've seen at least 10 seconds of one of Marqueco Mondays. And so what this did is we basically did the first step that I showed you before, right? So I had video views. And what I told Facebook was, well, find me as a second step, people who are who look alike those video viewers right and what facebook did is they said well we found 2.3 million people who look like that those people who saw the video at least 10 seconds in us within the us or canada and so this is step number one right so we have a custom audience and we're gonna we created a look-alike audience based on people who watch that what, what do we do and where do we go from there? And this is a little trick that most people don't see or don't realize, and it's this. You go back to audiences and you click on core audience. So you're basically building a new audience uh, as a core audience. Here's the thing, you're not gonna use the user base that Facebook has as a baseline. We're going to be we're we're going to be using is a custom audience as our baseline. So what I did here is I told Facebook use the lookalike audience that we just built in this step 
because that's the core audience I'm going to further segment. How are we going to do that? And I did this, and just for example, for example purposes again, what I did here was saying, well, I want just people within the U.S. So the first thing we're going to change is location, right? The second thing I'm going to change is age. Because here's the thing, with a lookalike audience in this step, what Facebook is going to do is they're going to use everyone within all like ages um, and people who, yes, they look alike your baseline, but you know that there's specific things that you want in your audience to have. And this can be education level, this could be location, this could be age, gender, or a number of different things. So what I did here is say, well, I'm also going to change age because I want people within the ages of 28 to 45. I'm going to leave gender, right? And I'm also going to add a couple of things within interest, and I'm not going to, I can't show it here, like below, right? So interest should be below here. But what I'm, what I'm showing you is I added a couple of interest. And what this did is it, what Facebook basically said is there's 120,000 people coming from that 2.3 million audience. So here's what I did, right? I had a much larger audience of 2.3 million. Sorry, 2.3 million. And what I told Facebook is, yes, that's great. But what I really want to do is I want you to find this people. And this is step number three. And this audience right here is basically not 2.3 million, but 120,000 people. And so this group is going to be a much better segment than the 2.3 million above. Why? Because I'm making sure of certain interests that match within the audience. I'm making sure of age range. Uh, and also it could be location. Here's the thing. And why, why do we usually suggest for people to do this? Because what this does is, again, like if you're starting, if you're a small company, if you have a small budget, this is just going to be cheaper than targeting the 2.3 million. So you're going to be more efficient and you're actually – getting to a better segment because what you what you basically did is you said well from video views find me people who look alike so this is the one percent that facebook is going to show you but we're going to even make a better segmentation and we're going to add the additional step of adding a couple of interest demographics uh, and variables into that so that we have 120,000, right? And what I do then is I basically save that audience. So in this case, what I did is look alike video view further segmentation. And if you look here, it's 120,000. So what, what this is doing is you have, you went from 1%, which gave you 2.3 million people, to 120,000 from this 1%. So this is going to be even much better than the 2.3 million. So this is a little trick we usually do for lookalike audiences. And if you look here, and I just did this for, for you to realize, uh, I went to the audience overlap. And if you look, 100% of the 120,000 people are within the 2.3 million, right? And it makes sense. So what I'm doing again is just making the audience smaller, but much better. So you can be much more efficient with your money, with investments, and with your, uh, with your ads. So again, pretty simple, right? Three key steps. One is build a custom audience. So you need a custom audience in order for you to do a lookalike audience, right? And this can be video. This can be database. It can be... Uh, fan page interaction, anything that Facebook allows you to do within, within custom audiences. Step number two, simple, build then a lookalike audience. And again, 
I usually recommend, and Facebook ad Expresso has done a number of research on this, saying, well, 1% is much better than 10%, right? Or the, the, the further uh, up you go, then it's gonna be less similar to the lesser ones. And number three, we built a new core audience. But in this case, make sure that as a baseline, you don't use all of the users within Facebook, but what you do is you use the lookalike audience that you build on your second step as a baseline. And these are three simple steps that you can do in order to improve your lookalike audiences. If you look again here, we went from 2.3 million to 120,000. This is gonna make your audience much better, ads more efficient, and it's just a little trick that you should always do when you're looking at lookalike audiences. So hopefully, try this, let me know how it goes. Uh, just quick reminder again, make sure you Join our Facebook group. Uh, we do voting on each Mark Echo Mondays. You can ask questions here as well. Make sure you follow us on our blog. We have a free study guide. We have a number of Facebook as well. And you can download our practice questions for your Facebook Blueprint exam. Um, so again, thanks for taking the time to listening to today's Mark Echo Monday on custom audiences. Hopefully, I'll see you next week, guys, and thank you.